Today we're going to learn about one of the worst days in Irish history, Bloody Sunday, Dublin, November 1920. Tensions were building in Ireland at this time. In the previous 30 days, Terence McSweeney, Lord Mayor of Cork, died on hunger strike, and Kevin Barry was hanged in Mountjoy Prison. A group of British intelligence officers had been sent to Dublin to conduct intelligence operations against the IRA. On the morning of Sunday the 21st of November, Michael Collins sent his assassination team known as the Squad, or the Twelve Apostles, and they undertook a series of coordinated attacks to take out the British intelligence network. Michael Collins' squad killed 14 men that morning, including the Cairo gang members and some auxiliaries. Later that afternoon, a crowd of 10,000 people attended a Gaelic football match in Croke Park between Tipperary and Dublin. Five minutes into the game, the Aussies and British military stormed Croke Park and opened fire on the crowd. 14 people were killed, and amongst those 14 was one player, Michael Hogan, one 10-year-old boy and one 11-year-old boy. Another 60 to 100 people were injured, and this was Bloody Sunday, 21st of November, 1920, Croke Park.